Hey, and great that you are back. Today we are talking about the third part of the FA6500 review. Hydronalin.eu provided us this housing for the current tech review. Yes, okay, what do we want to talk about today? Today we want to start with a quick unboxing of the Fantasy Flat port. This port is compatible to the lens from Sony the Cell 16-50mm and also for the Sony 30mm E-mount lens, which can be also used with this flat port. But then you need an additional extension wing, which needs to set up in between because the lens is a little bit longer. One short info, just for my own case. If you are going to www.scubanaut.eu, you can find the whole review about the Fantasy FA6500 also in text form, but this is published currently only in German. There you can find all the features, specifications and feel of the overall housing, but this will specify and grow within the upcoming weeks. There you will also find all upcoming future videos for the Fantasy FA6500. But yes, this was just for my own case. Please visit me on www.scubanaut.eu, but the link will also provide it in the description. First we want to unbox the FML flat port system. First we need some space. Now we start with the unboxing of the FML flat port number 34. What is number 34? I don't know, but I think it's a model number. Let's see what is inside the box. Let's unfold the box. Okay, here we have a microfiber cloth. We have one O-ring uh, remover and the O-ring itself. Also, we have a quick manual. We don't need to read this because I will explain that to you now. So there's silicon. This is needed to grease the O-ring. This is pretty important. And for sure, we have the flat port itself. Let's put the box beside. Let's unpack him carefully. And there it is, the FML flat port. Located in the front there is a protection cap. In the front we have uh, tempered glass. And the outer wing is made of uh, aluminum. In the back we can find the um, uh, protection cap for, for the backside. Let's take it apart. So we can see the O-wing with some silicon grease on. Because I just tested it before so I put it some silicon on. And like you can see here, this is the flat port number 34. Okay, and this nice piece we want to mount now to the uh, housing itself. Let's put the uh, protection cap back to the front. Okay, the uh, protection cap from the back we can put beside. So we need to pick the housing. And like I explained in the episodes before, first we need to uh, move the uh, uh, lock button to the right side so that we are unlocking the front protection cap of the housing. Now we can now we can move it to the right side. Yeah, left, right, depends on how the way you're looking. But as you can see here are the markings. If it's locked, you see it's here aligned with the lock symbol. Move it up, you see that both lines are aligned to each other. It's the standard markings on a lens. So let's remove the protection cap. Now we have front access to the camera housing. Now we need to grab the uh, flat port. Now we need to align the line on the flat port also um, to the line you can see on the housing itself. As you can see here now in detail, you need to align the symbols to each other. So for setting it on the housing, you need to align both lines to each other. And then you can just twist the flat port to the right direction, in direction to the lock symbol. And then the flat port is locked correctly. But you should only do it with gentle pressure. Otherwise, it could be possible that the O-wing will jump out of place. And then the ceiling of the housing is broken. You don't want to have that. To secure the flat port, you need to switch back the security switch um, to the lock position so that it's fixed. Yeah, so how easy was that? The flat port is fixed and mounted to the housing. One thing is mandatory to do before, please grease the O-wing before putting in the flat port at the housing. This is needed to provide a proper sealing of the housing to the flat port. And be sure that the O-wing stays clean all time. What I can also recommend after mounting the first time, you should try the housing without the camera body to see if it's set up correctly. You just want to be sure that the housing itself is fine and you don't have broken O-wings in the back or something. You don't want to flood your camera body. 
Okay, the flat port is mounted now. Now we want to put in the camera body and uh, I want to show you what you need to be aware of. So first we want to open the housing. And then I will show you something. Here you can see, in here, you can find small cogwheels. These small cogwheels will be controlled with this side button. With this wheel, you can zoom underwater. Now we need to align somehow these cogwheels uh, with our lens on the Kamoa body. How we can do that? I will show you now. When you buy the flat port, you also need to buy this lens gear wing, specific for your lens. This is nothing more than a big cogwheel. Let's unpack it. This is not more than just rubber. You can push this over your lens uh, to attach this cockwheel to it, which then is just uh, controlling the zoom of your lens. So yeah, let's just push this lens gear and push it over the lens. The outer lens gear wing is just uh, aligned with the lens itself. And that's it. To do that before putting the body inside the housing. I already mounted the uh, camera mount to the body. That means we are ready to go. We take the housing again, unfold it and putting in the camera body. I will show you now uh, a little bit more in detail. But you can see that all cockwheels are fitting into each other, like you see here. But before you need to check that the lock is open from the uh, camera body mount inside the housing. And then you can slide the body carefully in. And then you can see that the cockwheels of the housing and the lens itself will fit perfectly to each other like you can see here. Then we can just uh, close the housing again and lock the back door and turn on the camera. Camera powered on and now I will try to zoom like you can see here. You should see that the lens is zooming correctly and that's it. That's how to mount the flat board. And all other port systems that are available, the 6-inch wide-angle port uh, from Fantasy, uh, the extension wings for the flat port itself to extend it for longer lenses, then it's also compatible for the Sony Cell 16mm f2.8, the 60mm fixed focal lengths together with the wide-angle correction lens. But inside the video description I will link the port chart from Fantasy so you know um, which ports are available. But in addition to that, you see here, you have this inner thread. This is a 67 millimeter uh, inner thread. So here you have the possibility to attach all the Enon or CNC um, yeah, wet lenses. So you have the support for wet lenses. So you can decide more or less underwater if you want to use just the flat port or in combination with the wide angle uh, Wet lens. You can just change this easily uh, underwater while diving. So you just have here the inner thread 67 mm. So yeah, okay, the uh, flat port is mounted and that was the third episode. On the topic of the uh, port systems itself, I will create an additional episode in the future, so hopefully in the upcoming weeks. So I will explain to you all the combinations which are possible to use on the Fantasy FA6500. So yes, I'm really happy until now with the overall quality of the housing. In the following episode, in the fourth episode, I will go diving with the housing and for sure I will show you the outcome of my experience with the housing underwater, including with the Cell 16 to 50 kit lens of my Sony A6300 body. So I will show you that, um, stay tuned, send me a subscription for my channel so you don't want to miss a single clip. And if you like the video just send me a thumbs up, that would really uh, support my channel. So yes, uh, that's it, thanks for watching, we see us in the next episode in one to two weeks and yeah, so bye bye.